digestive system. Mouth, esophagus, stomach. Stomach leads to the small intestine, which leads to the large intestine, rectum, and anus. Here we have the uvula, soft palate, hard palate, tongue, and teeth. Also around the mouth are the salivary glands. These are parotid salivary glands, submandibular salivary glands, and sublingual salivary glands. Esophagus, stomach, those folds are rugae. This is where the cardiac sphincter is. This is the fundus. The middle part of the stomach is the body. And this is the pylorus. Pyloric sphincter contained in the pylorus. Lesser curvature of the stomach, greater curvature of the stomach. There's the duodenum of the small intestine, the very first part. The jejunum would be in the middle, and the ilium of the small intestine ends at the ileocecal valve. Here's the pancreas with the pancreatic duct. The pancreatic duct and the common bowel duct meet to form the hepatopancreatic ampulla. There is a sphincter that opens and closes called the sphincter of odi, or hepatopancreatic sphincter, that allows pancreatic juice and bile into the duodenum of the small intestine. Those circular folds are called plicae circularis. You can also see them there. Ileocecal valve leads to the cecum of the large intestine. Ascending, transverse, descending branch of the large intestine. Each one of these pouches is called a haustrum. Together they're called haustra. These are epiploic appendages, little fat lobules. That's the tinea coli. And band. Appendix is here. Rectum, anus.